For Alison Ruddock, who manages a care home, the rules for staff worried they've been exposed to coronavirus are simple, stay at home. Well, we have made it very uh, clear to the staff that um, they do have a level of accountability. We all have to own this situation, um, so they should not be coming to work. Now the Prime Minister says there'll be the added incentive that most workers should qualify for sick pay immediately. I can today announce that the Health Secretary will bring forward as part of our emergency coronavirus legislation measures to allow the payment of statutory sick pay from the very first day you were sick instead of four days under the current rules. And I think that's the right way forward. Nobody uh, should be, nobody should be penalised, Mr Speaker, for doing the right thing. But some might be, Jeremy Corbyn suggested. Those people that are not currently eligible for statutory sick pay, therefore will have to make a terrible choice between health and hardship. If you have to self-isolate, you will now be entitled to the minimum statutory sick pay of £94.25 a week from day one, not day four as previously. But to qualify, you must earn at least £118 a week before tax. That means that many low earners, around 2 million people, stand to lose out, as well as the self-employed, around 5 million people, or many on zero-hours contracts. The TUC's leader says more needs to be done to help the less well-off or people won't stay home. I don't think Boris Johnson is putting himself in the shoes of a low-paid worker. And frankly, if you're faced with the prospect of being penniless if you do self-isolate, then, you know, it's no choice at all. People have still got bills to pay. This cafe worker on a zero-hours contract says he couldn't afford to go off sick. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's fair at all. Um, I think there should be some sort of subsidy set aside, um, some sort of contingency to allow for, you know, funding to be given to those that are ill, regardless of whether they're, you know, on full contracts or zero as contracts. Today's concession on sick pay, not enough, according to some. Libby Vina, ITV News, Westminster.